Hello all. This is a video tutorial for Armor Paint. Some of you guys wanted to see that. In this video we will only cover the basics. If you like it and you want to see more then let me know in the comments. I will do a lot more if you want. So now let's start. Here I have Armory 3D or Blender. I created here a very simple cube with smooth edges. Use your own objects and follow me. Before we start to paint we have to create a UV for our object. For that we drag from the top right corner a new window out and then go from 3D view to the UV editor. If we go to the edit mode we can see that it already have UV but we can make it better. Press U in the edit mode and then select Smart UV Project. If we do that then we can see that it use all of the available space. We can run into problems if this is to close. To fix that we U wrap it again but before we confirm it we set the Alang Marigan to 0.06 or something higher you like. And here we fixed it. We have now some space in between. That's all we need. Now we have to export our model. We go to File, Export and then to OBJ. Set a location you want to save your object. I already made a folder for this video and I already have here a file. Here we are in Armor Paint. For looking around press and hold the right mouse button. For zooming scroll the mouse wheel. For panning press and hold the middle mouse button. The first thing we do is to create a new project. We go to file and then to create new project. We have here some options to use but we use for the beginning the paint mode. We want to import our object. We go to the bottom here to mesh and then import. Search for your folder and select the obj file. We can also just drag and drop the file in the screen. Before we begin we save our file. Here is the file that we saved. Here on the left side you can see some brush types. The first one is the default on. You can simply draw on your object with that. The other will be in the future tutorials. I don't want to destroy your head. Each brush has his own settings on top here. The first one is the radius the higher the value the larger the drawing circle. With Ctrl and Z you can undo the steps. And with Ctrl and Y you can redo the steps. You can also double click in here to type the number instead of using the sliding mechanic. For the next two ones we skip it because it's not necessary for the beginners. 
I will explain it in the next videos. The next one is the opacity. If the value is 1 then it is visible if it is 0 then you draw invisible. Hardness is the smoothness of the brushes. You can see here that the one with the low value has a lot smoother edge than the other. We also skip these here and go to the symmetry. If you check the Xbox then if you draw it will mirror it to the X axis. With the others it's the same but Y is for Y and Z for Z. For this video we will also use the third brush. Here we have our material palette. So far we only have one. We have here three buttons. We can create, import or edit materials. To edit the material we click on edit and a new window pops up. Here on the RGB node you can change the color and then paint the new color. If we want the whole object in this color but it is not practically to paint it. So for this we use the third brush. Select the third brush and just simply click on the object. With the fill tool we can very easy fill the whole object. In our more paint we can add more materials. Click on new. We set the color to a blue like color. Now we can select the material here on the right side and then we can paint with it. You can change here in the panel the roughness value. Also you can change the metallic value. You can close the window with the tab button. If we go to the top here to UV map we can see our UV map. We can also paint in here. Here below the UV map button you can add layers. You can make the layer invisible if you uncheck the box. Select the layer you want to paint. Select the above one and now you paint on top of the blue color.
Now we want to export our textures to Armory 3D. For this we go to export. Here you can choose the resolution of the painted textures and down here you can select your file type. For the others we don't change anything for this video. Now we are done so we click on the export button and set a location to save it. Him here in Armory. First thing is to import our model. Go to File, Import and then to OBJ. Select your model. We drag a new window and then switch to the shader editor. Delete the blender shader and add the Armory 3D PBR. We add a image texture node. We duplicate it and set the first one to the base color. We open the texture and search for the R textures. For the base texture select the texture with the base name in it. We duplicate the image texture node and connect it to the metallic. After that go the textures and select the one with metallic in it. Make sure that every image except for the base texture is set on non-color data. That's it, if you liked it then write it down the comments. Thanks for watching.